What's up, P-Nation? We just moved from Texas to California, and we're excited to live in Dana Point for the next five weeks. In this video, we're going to take you throughout the town and explore this for the first time with you. So let's go see Dana Point. Welcome to our new temporary home. We're going to be here for quite some time. So we have the couch, we have the sitting area, and I'm like really digging all of these pillows. They just make everything so fun. We have the patio. Patio. Ever since we got here, now it is January. It has been 60 degrees. The washing machine, which I've never seen this before, which is actually kind of nice, because it's so nice out here. The washing and the dryer is outside in the patio, which is kind of interesting. I've never seen that. Back through the living room. odd open space but it's really nice and this bed oh, is so comfortable and at night we've been opening up this window right outside is this like river system that goes to the entire condo complex and it has this like trickling water noise it sounds like you're literally like sleeping in a sleeping bag outside and we have all this really cool eclectic art Situated around the entire condo are these like animals that are like oddly sexual, but they're like really colorful and I just love them so much. And we have our section where we keep all of our camera equipment, all of the gimbals, the batteries, all the charging things. Over the holidays, we purchased a brand new camera, a brand new gimbal. We almost bought a new computer. We didn't get that far. We just bought so much new equipment and it like takes up so much more room than we're used to. So we have like an entire desk devoted to that. So that's new. And then moving into the closet. We don't even have enough clothes to fill up this closet. We've never encountered a closet this big on the road. Like we've been living out of suitcases for how many years now? And I don't have, I don't have enough clothes. Zach has enough clothes to fill his side. Somehow he has a bigger wardrobe than I do. A colorful monkey. And then, and then there's the bathroom. Super clean, super cute. Love these rugs. Show the rug. The rugs are amazing. I don't know what kind of rug this is. I really love the colors. I'm an orange kind of toned person. So I can really dig the like sunset themed colors in here. And then back across from the living area, we have what was the dining room is now Zach's desk. Zach's desk takes up two thirds of the table. My desk takes up one third of the table. Video editing takes much less room than whatever he does. And then right across from the dining room is the kitchen. And we haven't been here all that long so we haven't like broken in the kitchen too much, but it has like everything you need. This place is so well stocked. So much more well stocked than the Myrtle Beach place we were staying in. So much more well stocked than like any hotel we've ever encountered or condo or like rental property for that matter. So it has like all the cups. It's got sushi plates, it has wine glasses, it has real tea, it has coffee and creamer things. We've got like little decorations like this guy. What is this? Is this just beach material? He's got little eyes on him. He's so cute. We've got all the plates and the bowls, a dishwasher. A dishwasher, you guys. We were washing all of our utensils, all of our plates by hand in South Carolina, which was fine. But oh my gosh, what a luxury. <laughs> and then we have our pantry. Now, this was completely empty, and this is all of the foodstuffs that we have acquired <laughs> over the past four to five months now. We have an entire spices, like, container. This is about 10 pounds worth of spices that has traveled here all the way from South Carolina. We have so many spices, we have so many like baking materials, all of our diet materials in here. What do you call this? A magic bullet. Zach brought a magic bullet all the way from Texas on the plane here. Yeah, we're gonna be drinking some smoothies. I really like the kitchen. It's a lot bigger, there's a lot more counter space than we normally have, so that's really nice. We just like dig everything about this place is giving us the real California vibes we were hoping for. Plus Dana Point is like a really nice place to stay. So this is actually like the cheapest place we could find. And it's really, really nice. So I don't know how we did it, 
we always do this to ourselves though, where we're like really surprised, like, wow, we're getting a good deal here. So yeah, this is our new place we're gonna be living. It's only a 10 minute walk from the beach. So I think that's where we're gonna go now. All right, so this is actually my first time to the beach. I have never been here. I've never seen so many surfers. I've never seen so many families with surfboards. I feel like owning a surfboard is a rite of passage here. So I feel like I need to buy one now to actually be a true Dana Point citizen. But this is amazing. I mean, it's a Monday. I don't know who is off on Monday, but apparently a lot of people. Everyone's surfing, everyone's laying in the sun. It's 80 degrees, it's January. California is the answer. And there's people behind me playing volleyball. I feel like sports is such a big part of living in California. Like we just saw so many people biking, people on surfboards that were electronic, people playing volleyball, people surfing, people running, people swimming. It doesn't matter. It's like everyone's trying to be active, but also it's coronavirus. So like, I don't really know if they would be in the gym or outside, but it's so nice. I don't see why you wouldn't be outside. walking and we're in the marina right now and this whole time I've just been like getting too excited over all the different kinds of plants in California like East Coast coming from the very East Coast all the way to the West Coast like everything is just so different like there's so many different types of palm trees and just trees in general and like huge succulents and just like weird really weird plants like this that like remind you of Thailand like everything is just so different it's just so cool this one has a pincher ah! <laughs> so I will say Zach and I were like so skeptical. We were like, oh, everybody loves California so much. And like, why? You know? And then we got here. And now we realize that it's really awesome. And it's just like, it's so hard not to love it for everything that it is. But in order to get to those, we have to learn how to sail on these little dinghies, which Leah is not looking forward to. Yes, I am. I'm gonna be that salty sea dog. We're gonna be on the water, boat life. Whew, we're only halfway through the marina and we gotta go all the way up. Our end goal is Dana Point. That's a long ways away. Dana Point, it's no joke. We're walking on the road. Hopefully we don't get hit by anybody. But the view is gonna look so good. I hope we see some whales. I completely forgot that whales were even an option. First I was mad because Zach was making us like go up this hill that doesn't have a sidewalk. But now, with the prospect of whales, I'm really excited! And the view ah! is so good and it's getting cooler up here. Got a little bit of sweat going Yeah. down in the sunlight. This is really steep hill. Just look at this view. This is crazy. I am so excited to live here. I never thought Dana Point would be a place that would ever come because it's so far removed from Los Angeles. But I'm really glad we made the choice to come down here. The sun is shining. I have SPF 50 on my cheeks, so hopefully I won't get burnt. I have a feeling we're gonna do this walk every day. I don't think we're gonna walk 1.5 miles to get here. We can just drive and walk around this loop, but we're gonna bring our binoculars and just try and find whales every day. I feel like that's a new hobby. I could definitely do that instead of bird watching, whale watching. Thank you. 
like a, oh, that's not a whale. It's a person in a raft. So we came up here to like see the sunset and just to like come on top of Dana Point because like this is the point. And what we didn't realize is that there's like homes up here. Like these are some James Bond style homes. Like a secret agents must live up here. Well, like the wealthiest of the wealthy. How do you even have a home up here? How do you build up here? This is so crazy. The trail is closed unfortunately, so we can't like go any further than here. But this is just like, this is just an insane place. And the caves are also closed. I didn't realize this trail connects everything, but I can see some things in the distance. We're gonna keep watching for whales. Also, I'm pretty sure that that is Catalina Island. It's kind of hard to see with human sight. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's pretty hazy. I just can't believe it's that close. This very accurate map of the California coast uh, depicts our favorite sunset spot in San Clemente. And then uh, we're kind of living over here in this area above Doheny Beach. And right now, we're right here next to the uh, pirate ship in Dana Point. You guys, we totally tricked you. We actually got a van. We're doing van life. Wait, just kidding. Just she kidding. needs to take a shower every single day. I would never. <laughs> All right, just made it back. Sorry, I made you walk up that. Never again. Okay, it was a little dangerous, <laughs> but we survived. I think we need to get some food in her tummy. <laughs> yeah. Sunset. We just couldn't stop watching it. It's a little dark now, but this is a perfect way to end every day. I feel like we're going to end our days at Dana Point like this. Absolutely. Technically, we're at San Clemente because Dana Point doesn't like face the sun when it's setting. So we have to come a little bit south, like five minute drive, but it's totally worth it. We love the sunset, and this is something we couldn't get on the East Coast. At all. You just it's, can't get it. It's just sunrises. Yeah. All you have is sunrises. So it's nice to see the sunset over the ocean every day. We didn't see whales today, but that was no. okay. And yeah, that's the tour of Dana Point. This is our new life. We're gonna be living for a month. We've always wanted to be in California. And this is it. Thanks for watching. And there's people behind me playing volleyball and the wind's blowing really loud. We are wind enough. I made Leah walk up it. Mad about There's it. No sidewalk. You're getting hit by a car. It's fine. It's a super scary hill that I'm very mad at Zach for making me do. But we got up here the perfect time just to see all of this. All of Dana Point is before you. Mm -hmm.